Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome back to more Defender's Quest Valley of... something, I forget. Last time we wrecked up a town killing a bunch of zombies and ticked off the bad guys chasing us just a little bit more. Today, more fighting. I think we were looking for a monastery or something. Let's go! Load that file. I have leveled up slightly since last time, but... Wait, why am I up here? Oh right, I was messing around. I have leveled up slightly since last time, but only like a couple of levels. I was mostly getting uh, getting Spoon leveled up a little bit. Now just for kicks! 16! I need nothing else. They die as soon as they spawn. <laughs> it's always fun being able to... I like that. You just barely get anything. But uh... Yeah, they don't get a chance to spawn anymore because they appear and then they just die outright. And yeah, I went through... The levels you battle and went through the levels and did all the advanced ones I remembered what I was talking about before why I kept mentioning uh, grinding and such it's because extreme mode the levels jump quite a bit um, I could probably take on like the first couple like as I go through and do level up like I could probably take on this extreme one right now in fact I might do that before the episode ends I'm not sure but yeah, uh, as you progress, like right here, 12 to 20 in the levels, and that, I mean, the rewards are good, but holy crap, because I'm like, uh, I think 11 is my highest level, and Spoon is, uh, I think I managed to get her to 10, so yeah, not quite good enough to handle extreme mode right now, <laughs> but yeah, let's fight something we can kill. What is this? Oh, I remember this. This is where it starts to get tricky if you only go with the base amount of characters. Yay! What is advanced? Decent reward, but the levels are going up a bit and they have things that can hurt me. Oh, right, with these things, the snake ghouls. They get introduced and they can do similar to the white slugs, I think, and are able to attack. Well, let's go deal with that then. Oh, story! Hold on, there's some people on the road. Could those be more rangers? Others must have escaped from the village. Wait, something's not right. They look... Oh, I was going to say they look like zombies, but no, they look like whatever. Ew, that's... That looks like some kind of a mud monster, to be honest. With, uh... With, uh, really weird orifices. You should just leave it at that. <laughs> Hope I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> We're under attack. Well, attack them back. The undead rangers have come have a long range attack. Plan accordingly. Yeah, I was right about that. Okay, let's go ahead and pause this and sort this out. Uh, okay, we get one where they are all going to come from up here, and everything else is going to be coming from either down below or a mix of both. So, I have to plan for that. I've got my ranger. She can... Ew, she can attack both, depending on where I put her. Oh, it's been so long since I've done this, I honestly don't remember where I need to put you. But you need to be where you can do the most damage, which should be somewhere in here, I suppose. I mean, I'll be letting a lot of things in, but you can only do so much once they start flowing, because they will layer over each other. So here, when I only have two people, it's best to uh, let them uh, come to me. So where do I put you? Uh, more from... Oh no, it's about... It's Yeah, it's equal. So wherever I want to put you, I suppose. I just put you there. Whatever. And put you... Hmm... I don't know with you. I really do not know with you. Uh... Oh, I mean, I guess... Wait, it expands. So I guess here is good. Then once I expand... you, There we go. Now you can cover that. And hope for the best. And you... And go ahead and boost that. Do I have enough for you? I do! It just kind of screws me over. I just have to hope that they'll, they'll be able to get enough kills in before anything shows up. Yeah, this is a bit slow. Let's speed that along. A little bit more. Yeah, there they go. Look at that lunging action. 
They must have abs of steel. Oh. Hey guys, how you doing? Cool. Yeah, and she's still able to... She has just enough range to clip them. And let's slow that down just a little bit. Just enough range to clip the guys up there. That's pretty cool. Of course, anything that doesn't get by, he kills. So this is... This is looking... This is looking alright. I'm confident here. I'm not going to... Whoa, what is this lag? That was a bit odd. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if it'll register for you, but suddenly things got really slow. Okay, these guys are a little bit slow themselves, so let's speed that along. The snails, or the slugs rather, are, are oddly speedy, but everything else is average speed. Yeah, this is going pretty well. I did alright with my placement. Cool! It gets a lot better once you get other characters, obviously, because you'll have more things to attack with, but, uh, yeah, this is, this, I'm, I'm feeling good about this. Not good enough to pump it up to eight, but still feeling pretty good. I like this. Poor Slag's just been standing there this whole time, hasn't had much to do. And it's going to stay that way, because here we are at the end. He got to kill, like, five things, I think, <laughs> But yay, we won. And we got a very small amount of experience. But hey, we got money. That's cool. Onward, ho! Still like the art in this, the new characters. Background, pretty sure it's the same, but the characters, they just look so good now. Those Revenant. They were from the village. You think everyone got turned? Everyone there should have been should have been immune to the plague. All the survivors have already had it. I don't think they turned on their own. The man in red? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> he has powers, apparently. He did say something about her being an equal. I think that's what he said. What do we got here? What was advanced? Ah, right. With more things that want to kill me. Ooh. The shooty slugs. You. No, thank you. Wait, what's the reward for that? Just that? Okay, tiger skin vest. Good reward for that. But I can't do that one. Fairly certain I would get creamed in that level. I wonder what's up with the town over here. It, it was just a town with nothing of interest to me. Curious. But hey, a town. Was this town here before? I could swear it was just an empty space before. Do things unlock as we go? Oh, man, it's been a long time since I've played. I honestly can't remember most of what's going on. A survivor's camp at the foot of a mountain. A frequent target of Ozimal's raiding parties. What a jerk. Yay, there's a town. And yeah, that's a... I don't know if that up there is the building up there. That's probably the, uh, the monastery, yeah. But yeah, this is a good scale for the entirety of the pit. This is a very large place. We're just going around the little mini-map thing, or world map, whatever. But yeah, it is... it's big. I think we lost them. Hey, nice necklace. Oh man, and all I need is three more re revenant skulls to finish my necklace. Uh, I think you're a little small for that to be a proper necklace for you, though. Maybe get squirrels or something. Check it out! I call the big one Blinky, and the little one here is Mr. Teeth. That is seriously disturbing, Slag. Ah, she's smiling now. Azra, there's a, there's a small caravan of nomads here that have offered us supplies. For the right price, of course. Turns out the headsman is my grandfather's fifth wife's second cousin. So I was able to haggle us some pretty good discounts. What even is that relation? I recommend that we stock up what we can. You okay? Welcome to Laxos! Armor, what you got for me? Heavy wool tunic. However, I did go through, uh... One of the, uh, I think it, yeah, it was when I was going through the advanced ones, I think, and I managed to get her the, a better tunic, which I will show off shortly. Iron Sword! Alright! Because I don't think I've been able to get anything better for him. Yeah, I don't think that anything's had any new weapons for him, so yay, let's buy him an Iron Sword. Buy? Thank you! Who will equip it? He will equip it. Yay! Now he has a better weapon. 
Recruit. Hey, now we can actually, we got a place where we can recruit both of them. Neat. But we're not going to be doing that because I don't need to do, do that. Hello? There's a finger over here is pointing at this. Oh, bows. Hunter's bow. Actually, I think that's a thing that I can unlock. So I'm going to avoid getting that for now and go get the free one uh, once I am able to. Onward to story. Oh, hey, guy. Hey there, stranger. Your name doesn't happen to be Azra, does it? I like your outfit. That's a nice, uh, short sword. Yes? Fantabulous. A couple days ago, this old man stopped by. He said you would follow and ask me to give you this thingamajig. Looks like a piece of paper, but okay. He said it would help you on your way. It was a teensy bit weird, if you ask me. But if anybody handing out free pieces of parchment is okay in my book, I can't get enough of the stuff. Mm-mm, <clears throat> good in a soup. It's delicious. <laughs> Thank you, friend. Loon. Healing! Yay, I can heal. Not that we take much damage. All right, I think you actually get a healer character at some point. Okay, I'm going to take a slight detour. Glory of War. No, not what I was after. How about you? Was it charlatan stuff? Okay. Oh, wait, no, it was up here, wasn't it? Checking. Hunter Warrior. Hunter. I think it's supposed to be Hunter's Bow, but yay, I can do that thing. And I'm high enough level that these guys really don't matter. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that thing just so I can get the good weapon for her. I know I said that I would uh, wait for... Wait to see what you guys think, but... Eh. It's my videos. I'll do what I want. <laughs> do that thing. Do that thing. And max it out. So I really don't see much happening here. Look at that death. It's a lot of death. Holy crap. Nothing's making it beyond slag. That's awesome. Oh crap. That's uh... Okay. Boost you. Also, you get an... Whoop. Yay, we won. You get an in-game achievement for the first time maxing somebody out, so that's pretty neat. Yay! Whoop. That's a lot of words. This nomad hunting bow appears to have doubled as a, as a weapon of war. Well, uh, yeah, hunting bow, I guess. But yeah, I mean, it's a weapon, so it could be used for war or whatever. The nomad symbol for good hunting has been painted over with... Has been painted over with symbols for death. Well, that's lovely. On the inside of the bow is a description of a Steka family god? I guess I'm pronouncing that correctly. Consonants! I love them. Holding a severed head. Yay. Red victory stripes at the tips of the at the tips indicate that this weapon was put to much use in some conflict long forgotten. Sorry? I don't have my glasses on right now, and yes I wear glasses. Equip that bow! Thought it was going to auto-equip, but okay, here we are. Equip bow. Equip. Hunter bow. Yay, power boost. Okay, now let's get on with the story, shall we? We have things to do. Hey, an achievement. Cool, I got a gold star by beating something on extreme level. Cool. Okay, now let's go on with the story. Battle. What do we do? Oh, lovely. We're introduced to a third area for them to spawn. However, I vaguely remember this one. It's not too big of a deal once you get extra characters. Uh, although it seems to be on normal, it's just level 3 to 7, so not too big of a problem. Ooh, Blood Feud, Blood Feud Copal. It's a new weapon for him, but they are slightly stronger. Still going to be sticking with normal for now. Because I did not grind enough between last time and now. I did a few levels, and uh, that's partly because I actually forgot to do it, so... Yeah, sorry, don't, sorry I don't have as much to show for that. Here we are at the Chapel House of the Seventh Branch of Salini. Mmm, Salami. That's the monastery? What, you were expecting something else? I just thought it would look more like the royal temples back in Ash. Well, I can chant if that would make it feel more temple-y. <laughs> uh, favorite character. It just looks more like a fortress than a temple. Oh, hey guy! He caught up to us. 
Indeed, for there are many dangers in the pit. You! You think that old fool sitting behind his walls can save you? You are cut off. That monastery might as well be in the furthest reaches of the Quaid Empire for all the good it will do you. Revenant, cut them down. Well, he's not a very happy person. Okay, so, pausing this briefly, what do I have to deal with? Because that's a good thing, it's RPG and all that stuff. It's good to strategize, to do planning. Well, not just because of RPG, but also the uh, Tower of Defense. But yeah, planning, it's important. What do we got? Honestly, it's a fair balance of everything, so it doesn't really matter what I put where. Oh. Putting him right here seems like a good idea because of the coverage thing. But then he's limited to only the red. So the thing to do... Ugh. Okay. I could put him down here, which would give him coverage for both without having to go like... But then... That has the enemy coming like right here. So there's problems with that. Hmm. It's been a very long time and I honestly can't remember, so I'm just going to wing it. Oh, what do we got? Where do we got? Where do I put you? Hey. This looks like a decent spot. Boost you, boost you, boost you. She's going to be pulling a lot of the fight here. And I'll go ahead and give them both even amount. Level two. Let's go. Bring it on, enemies. Okay, bring it on a little bit faster, please. Haven't got all day. It doesn't look like there's any super speedy types. There are some white slugs, but nothing zippy or anything. Oh, this is going pretty well so far. Oh, nope, now here's everything all at once. <laughs> but yeah, they seem to be handling everything quite well, so this is a good placement. Yeah, this is going pretty well. Let's up it to eight. Whoa, look at those guys marching out. Oh, here they come. Oh. <laughs> Just head banging as they're going down the path, and wow, this is going a lot, a lot better than I expected. Holy crap! They didn't even make it halfway through the area. Well done, me. And a level up. Awesome. Cool. Yay! And other such positive things. Oh, what did we get? By the way, during the level ups, I got him uh, one to everything that he has available. This increases critical hits on flurry which is a bunch of hits, and uh, Rage gives him the bleed status effect to uh, some of his hits. It's a very small amount, it's like 2%, but hey, you never know when that'll happen. So what do I get now? At one point, eh, let's up the damage on that. Good for symmetry anyway, because symmetry is important. Hey, healing. Um, I don't really see healing being all that important right now, so let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and put one to Frenzy, Frenzy in case I need to use that. Continuing! Yes. And more story! Yay! Hey, it's that guy! Or, at least that's his face. We saw him earlier. Or, one, two... Yeah, two episodes ago. The gate is open! Quick, before they can regroup! Everyone, into the monastery! Once again, we owe you our lives, Honorable Elder. Nice outfit, especially for living in the pit. I act for myself as much as for others. You do not know your own importance. One who can travel into their world. Please, if you can explain any of the, event of the events of the last week to me. There is much to say and little time to say it. The enemy army still sits at our gates. At least tell me this. To whom do I owe my life? Buckle. Okay, then. Let's just, uh... Hmm. A soft-spoken old monk uh, seeking forgiveness for his sins. And suddenly his outfit is a slightly different color. What's up with that? Hmm. Hmm. He looks like a yendo. And honestly, this sounds like a nonsense name, but this is the kind of name that the name generator would give you for, uh, like, the mercenaries. So, yeah. It doesn't matter what I put, it's probably going to be similar to something. 
And that's progress. So yay, what do we got here? Not going to enter it because we're at 20 minutes now, but... Oh, I remember this. I can't remember much from the game, but as I come to these, you'll probably hear me say it a lot. But yay, I remember this. Because yeah, I actually remember... Because a lot of grinding. When you have to grind a lot in a game, you become very familiar with things. What do we get? Ozimal's coat. Oh, I wonder if that's a spoiler of anything. Hmm. But yeah, progress is very slowly being made. Let's go ahead and exit out. Right when there's drama, the enemy's at the gate, and everybody wants my giblets and other such things. I don't know what they want from me. They just want me. But anywho, this has been Defender's Quest, Valley of the Forgotten. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, think of the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I'll see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.